What's happening guys? Welcome to my channel. I'm starting up a new playlist and I'm going to be showing you guys how I'm going to be able to make 300 horsepower out of my Honda engine. So I have two engines that I'm taking apart. I'm taking the cylinder head from one, I'm taking the bottom end from another, along with putting some awesome upgraded bits inside. And I'm hoping to make 300 horsepower out of a 2.4 liter engine. So let me show you what I'm working with right here. So this here is my 2009 Honda Accord. And in the engine bay, you'll be able to find the stock K24 engine that was found in this vehicle. Now, I also have a Civic SI transmission in here that is a six speed with a limited slip differential. The car's pretty good on its own. The engine, however, doesn't exactly make that much horsepower given the couple bolt tons that I have on it. So I have an intake, full exhaust system, tune, and a couple other parts, but it's still not making the horsepower that I want. And for that exact reason, I bought two of these engines here to make this process possible. So this engine here is a K24 that came out of an Acura TSX. This here is another engine that came out of an Acura TSX. Both of these are 2.4 liter engines, however, they're very different. So this K24 Z3 engine is very similar to the one that I have in my Honda. In the fact that this is an R40 engine that has the cylinder head that has all the collectors all built into one. So if you compare that to the other cylinder head that I have over here, you can see this is very traditional. It's the like regular style that you guys are used to. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be taking this block right here, that is the K24 Z3, and I'm gonna be putting the K24 A2 cylinder head on this block. Because both of these engines here have distinct differences, I can't just put one of these engines inside my engine bay, have it built and make 300 wheel horsepower. So before getting into the whole build process, let me tell you what is the difference between both of these two engines. First and foremost, let's get started with the crankshaft. So the crankshaft position sensor on the A block is found right here at the pulley. So this is found on the front of the engine with all the accessories and the timing chain. Now if we take a look at the Z engine, you'll see that the crankshaft position sensor isn't there. It's actually found on this side of the engine and the sensor is found down below, right there. So that sensor makes a big difference as to which block you can run in your vehicle. Another big difference that has to do with the crankshaft is the tone ring itself. This newer block, which is the Z, has a 60 tooth tone ring. If we take a look at the A block, this one here has a 12 tooth tone ring that's found right behind the crank pulley. On the back side of the block, you'll be able to tell that the mounting locations and the bolt holes down here for the engine and torque mounts are different from this block. So that right there basically shows that these blocks are not exactly interchangeable. And for that reason, I want to stay with a simpler route and I want to keep this block, which is the same R40 block that I have in my Honda engine bay. So this here is the newer style. You guys can do the same process if you guys have an Accord, if you guys have a new Civic that has this style cylinder head, you guys can do this to an Acura TSX, and you guys can also do this to an Acura ILX. Taking a look at this engine here, you can see that that there is the block. It's an RAA. Now if you also want to take a look at the cylinder head, this here is an RBB cylinder head. The cylinder head that's found on this engine is not. It's very different. And there's actually no marking on the back side stating that it's an R40 down here. It's up hiding in that corner. So you can see it's an R40. Now the main difference between these two cylinder heads, and the reason why I'm taking that one is, well, what's underneath it. Let me show you. When you take the valve cover off of any of the R40 blocks, you'll be able to find the same design. Now that is VTEC found on the intake camshafts and no VTEC found on the exhaust camshafts. So can you take a look at here how there's three different cams? So each of these lobes here determine how much air is gonna go into the engine via the valves here, so through each one of these ports. When the car is running on the low cam, it's gonna be driving on these smaller outer ones. Since this side here has VTEC, once the car hits VTEC and it meets those certain parameters, it will be driving on this lobe here, which allows more air to go into the engine. Now, it allows more to go in, but this cylinder head here doesn't allow more to come out, so it's not exactly that efficient. When you take the valve cover off of the K24A engines, you'll be able to see both VTEC found on the intake and exhaust side. So this here is going to breathe a lot better than the setup that we have on our current engine. And this here is gonna allow us to not only breathe in and out a lot more air, but it's gonna make more power. 
This same cylinder head design that we have on the K24A block is what's found in the K20 blocks. Now those engines were notorious for making a lot of power out of a small engine. Those were two liter engines making more than 200 horsepower. So we're hopefully gonna be able to do the same thing where we have a 2.4 liter engine making more than 240 horsepower. I'm aiming for 300. So that's my game plan. Now I won't be able to do that with just putting this head on this block. I'm gonna have to change out a lot of parts. So when we fully disassemble both of these engines, I'm gonna be taking out most of the OEM components and installing some aftermarket ones inside of there. So everything that's inside the engine, like the pistons or the connecting rods, those are gonna be getting swapped out with better versions of those parts. So I have forged connecting rods, I have forged pistons. I'm gonna be changing some timing parts and I'm gonna make everything super reliable. If I can get an upgraded part, ideally I would like to. I've got some titanium components here for the valve train. I have new springs, I have head bolts, I have a new timing gear. This here allows me to engage VTEC more than the stock VTC gear. I have camshafts, I have head bolts, I have tools in order to do this. I have an upgraded oil pump, I have a ATI super damper, and I have a ton more parts other than just what you see here, and I'm gonna be using those to get to 300 horsepower. If you guys wanna find a link of everything I'm going to be using, you guys can find a link in the description box. It's gonna be every part along with links to buying those pieces. So I'm gonna hopefully give you guys a rundown as to how much this costs once this is done, but in the meantime, I know that there's gonna be a lot of parts that I need to buy, and I know there's guaranteed going to be more parts that I'm going to buy. So. In the meantime, this is what I have here. In the next video, I'm gonna get started with disassembling both of these engines. So I'm gonna be showing you guys what is different between the K24Z block and the A block. This A block started off in the early 2000s. This one here is the Z block, which came and derived from this one here. So I'm gonna start disassembling both of these and show you guys what the key differences are between these two, along with how the process works. I have a ton of work cut out ahead of me and I'm gonna be showing you guys the entire process. So from the disassembly to the full build, you guys can find all that information on my channel. Be sure to click that subscribe button if you guys aren't subscribed and click that little bell notification so you guys are notified whenever I put a new video out. So you guys don't miss anything along the way. If you guys wanna find more information about both of these engines along with what I'm doing, you guys can find more helpful links in the description box. I'm gonna be giving you guys more information there. If you guys have any further questions or comments, comment sections down there. You guys know what to do. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm pumped to get this started. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.